Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to walk you through our milking routine. We started milking a couple of months ago. Steven, my husband, does the milking in the morning. I had to be the camera woman today, so obviously I was out there with him. super cold right now. We live in the south and it's been like in the upper 20s and low 30s in the mornings and to us that is super cold so yeah not a fan but we're getting through it. There's Beulah just waiting to be let out. <laughs> so in the mornings she typically gets alfalfa pellets. Right now we are actually out of pellets so she's just getting a little bit of grain top dressed on her hay. We really haven't had that much of a problem out of her with this. If she finishes her food before we're done milking, um, she is really great about just standing still. Usually we give her a little brush because her bedding is sawdust and sometimes that can get a little messy. It's much easier to scoop poop out of and we are getting it for free, so that is why we chose sawdust. Um, but yeah, it does require a little bit of extra brushing and wiping to get it all off of her in the mornings. So here, Stephen is just wiping her udder down. We use hot water, Castile soap, and a couple of drops of tea tree oil in a bowl. Each morning, we have white wash rags that we immerse in the water and that is what we use to wipe her udder until it looks clean. And by it looking clean, I mean we wipe until the white rag still looks white. So we also really focus on her teats, making sure that there is not any dirt or mud or poop or anything like that. The udder bomb is a bomb that I made myself. It is a mixture of beeswax, shea butter, coconut oil, olive oil, and some essential oils. We try to use as many natural ingredients as possible because we really value not using chemicals on our animals and not getting chemicals near our milk. So once we use some of the balm, which really helps to lubricate as well, it makes milking so much easier and more pleasant for her as well. Once we do that, we go ahead and start milking. So like I said, Steven does the milking alone in the mornings usually. He likes to start on one side, completely milk out that side, and then he will move to the other side and milk out that side. Here I am just coming in to help. So usually we each milk out a side. If one of us is doing it alone, we milk out one side, go to the other side, milk that side out, and then check the other side again because usually by then her teats have kind of filled up. But yeah, we just make sure that we milk her out as thoroughly as possible. First, it was kind of hard to tell whether she was fully milked out or not, but now that we've been doing it for a couple of months, we know the way her udder feels when it is completely empty, the way it feels when it's full. It's just easier to tell. Some quarters are different than others, but we feel like we've gotten a good handle on making sure that she is completely milked out. Usually when we're working together, the milk gets nice and foamy on top. We are getting all that milk out pretty quickly. So once we finish up, we wipe her down once again with the utter wash, focusing on the tips of her teeth, making sure that 
we are reducing the likelihood of any bacteria. Typically, we rub her down with the Utter Balm at the end of milking. I think we do it in the evening on this day. But we rub her down with Utter Balm at the end of milking. And sometimes I will use the store-bought Utter Mint. Um, mint is really good for any kind of utter issues that might be going on. It helps to stimulate letdown. Um, it helps prevent mastitis. I think it's good to have one cream both with and one without peppermint. But usually we will use one or the other and just alternate morning and evening. So on this morning, of course, I forgot to get footage of me straining the milk. So I'm gonna show you guys that in this evening's milking. So here we are that evening getting ready to milk again. And yes, we milk twice a day. The reason for that is because we want to make sure that we are keeping her production up. We do get a little bit more milk this way. We will probably go down to once a day milking here in a month or so, but for now this is working well for us and we are getting about two gallons a day this way. We really enjoy this time where we are working together on something, it's something reliable, we can just kind of chat and yeah, it's nice. I am looking forward to summer where we won't have to bundle up in all this gear before going out. <laughs> Our milking times are usually around 7.30 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. So obviously right now it is completely dark by 7.30 p.m. So I'm really grateful for these LED shop lights that we have outside of our barn. Here we have her going in the stanchion once again for her hay. And like I said, we usually give alfalfa in the mornings and then we give the dairy ration in the evenings. And the dairy ration that we are giving right now is a grain mixture that we get from New Country Organics. I really love this ration. I will link it down below if you are interested. I feel really good about giving her this grain. Um, I know some people are opposed to giving their cows grain. She gets very little, but I do feel like it really, really helps with her production. Here we are wiping down again, and I'm going to show you a little bit more of an up close of the Utter Balm. This is our milking pail. This is actually a goat milking pail. So the reason that we chose this pail, which we actually borrowed from a friend, um, we need to buy our own eventually, but this pail works perfectly for us because she is a mini jersey and she is so short, there is really no way that we could fit a regular sized pail underneath her so it's really really the perfect size usually we get just enough to fill the bucket and it's just great we have tried a couple of different machine methods a couple of manual pumps but we always come back to hand milking just because it's so predictable and simple and there's a lot less cleaning parts and things like that. I don't have to worry about her teats being hurt or damaged or whatever. I just feel like it's easier on her and in the end it's really easier on us too. Beulah is a really good cow. She rarely ever kicks. Even if she runs out of grain, she just stands there in her stanchion, nice and still. 
So we are really grateful for that. We don't have really many issues out of her at all. Now there have been a couple of times where she's kicked the bucket. That was back at the beginning of us learning how to milk and her getting used to it. And that's always a bummer whenever a cow sticks their foot in your bucket and the milk is ruined. But thankfully we have only dealt with that a couple of times with her. So when we're done milking in the evening, she goes back in her stall with some fresh hay. And we have a fridge outside in our barn. I didn't show it here. Um, but a lot of times what we will do is we will bring in some more milk. We have kind of a rotation going from where we leave some in the house and then leave like the more fresh milk out in the fridge. I like to strain the milk and then we will take it back outside to the barn fridge um, either that night or the next morning. So here I am using a reusable coffee filter to strain the milk. I love this method. It works super well. I can also tell like it gets everything out so that is great. I just put a funnel over top of the jar and then set the coffee filter inside of that and pour it in. I will try to link as much equipment as possible down below if you are looking for some of these things. If you are just getting started with milking a dairy animal and you're not quite sure what to get. We use a mixture of plastic lids and metal lids. Um, we have tried out lots of different lids. But I really like the plastic lids. They are really easy to write on. Now I also wanted to show what we do as far as washing um, because it is really important how you wash your pails and your equipment and that kind of thing. So what I always do is I rinse with cool water first and then I will take one of the wash rags and add some Dawn dish soap and switch the water over to hot. Now our water heater is actually set to get more hot than what is normal. So our water gets really, really hot. And I really like that because it makes me feel confident that things like this that really need to be sanitized well are getting clean. So yeah, I use the wash rag only on the inside of the pail at first. So you don't want any kind of wash rag that's touched the outside of your pail to get on the inside of your pail. I feel like that's kind of obvious, but I always wash the inside first completely with soap and hot water, and then I will wash the outside with hot soapy water as well. Give it a bit of a dry. Sometimes I will let it air dry on the counter. Sometimes I'll towel it dry. And then here I am doing the same thing with the funnel and the coffee filter using hot soapy water giving it a good scrub. So there you have it friends. That is our milking routine, both morning and evening. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in a comment below. Be sure to subscribe for more modern homesteading and simple farmhouse life. I will see you guys next time.